It's me, Will E and Na. And today we are making Lotus Ice Cream. Just look at that. Don't you want to smash this on eat it? It just looks so good. You can resist it. When I had it, oh, it was smart. So let's get on with the video. Oh, oh. So first, you want to take the lotus cookies, crush it in a pack of biscoff milk chocolate and set it aside. Now this is what feels good. You want to have the whole pack, you want to zip it, then after that, crush, 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 crush. Crutches, um, what is it? Gently, so you don't get it too much though. But you want to hit it, to make it into pieces. After that, pour it into a bowl and set it aside. Mmm, yum. Well, it's overfilling. Set it aside. Now, cut your mixing bowl. Add a double, a double cream or whipping cream into the mixture bowl. Of course, you want to use a, um, a stand mixer. You want to use a hand biscuit, a hand mixer, or a stamp mixer until it is double size. You want to use a hand mixer until it's double size. This looks so creamy. Oh, just look at that. Then you want to add some condensed milk to get like the sweet flavor in it. This is what we normally use for tea. It makes it really nice. Just want to add it, and then. You want to add the lotus spread or biscuff spread. It's really chocolatey. Everything here is mostly chocolatey. So if you don't like chocolate, well, hmm. I like chocolate, so I don't know what to say though. But even though, let's get on. We want to mix them. This is great for the little girl at the top of the cat. Meow, meow. Mix until well incorporated. Ooh. Mix it, mix it, and uh, mama, mix it, mix it, and uh, mama. That's going really fast. Oh, that's why I'm stuck. <sighs> After that, you want to you want to add the crushed milk chocolate biscuit into the mixture and mix it round. Mix it very well. It's starting to look like chocolate, but with more, with but with um vanilla and not that much. What's it? Not that much chocolate. Then pour your ice cream into a small and um, what is it circular kind of bowl thing. They could have took us like about a week or two. I don't know, but it took us a very long time. And the only person that was actually eating it was my brother and me. Well I didn't have but then you want to like shake it a bit to get it all smooth. Cause I shake it. Then after that you want to get some biscuff biscuits crushed. One or two will be good. Just crush it. Crush some plain biscuff biscuit and spread it over the ice cream. That'll make the, present the presentation look better. Just look. And then these two biscuff biscuits can be turned into such much. All the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the, in the description box below. Just add it, and after that, you want to take a pinch, just cover it everywhere. Just look at that. Just look at it. Ooh. Bummy. Oh, I almost sneezed. I want to just cover it with the biscuit biscuit, left touch. After that, you want to like spread it out a bit make sure not to just put your finger in it now ready to be for at least two hours we want to put the lid on and in the freezer it goes 
two hours after. Look at the ice cream now. Now ready to serve. <coughs> Sorry, love. Make sure to like and subscribe. Meow, meow. And turn the notification down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And keep on watching our videos. Just look at the ice cream. Don't you want to eat it? It's so yummy. Remember liking this video and putting the, not the notification bell. You'll oh, finally set it right in a lifetime. With the biscuit, biscuit and other thing, it looks oh my days. It looks good, but it doesn't taste good. So make sure to try the the this recipe. All the measurements and the ingredients will be down below in the description box. I hope you enjoy this video and watch our other videos too. Have delicious food. Bye. Zoe out.